Hey there guys, we're going to be going back to the Scorn of the Fallen Iceberg trial for a third clear. This time we're going to be doing it the pretty easy way. This is a way that is going to skip the Unit of Choice mission, but it makes surviving the fight much easier because you don't have to deal with a lot of the attacks. Uh, but you will miss one of the missions. But this is more so you can get that gun, you know, run it through Item World, and then you can go back later for the Unit of Choice mission if you don't have the team to handle that quite yet. So we're going to be using Mercenary Romser for covering. I also wanted to use all different units that I haven't used yet on this fight. We're using five new units. Uh, Mercenary Romser is going to be evasion covering. Um, like I've shown, evasion is easier. Uh, you don't need evasion, but you know if you can build it, it helps. He's got the resistance to ice, water, and wind, which is important for the whole team. Rem's going to be our healer. Now, she's not really a good choice for this fight because she doesn't really bring anything other than just basically casting Curage for every turn. But, you know, if you've got one of the better healers like Folka, Fina, Myra, definitely bring them. But Rem can get the job done. Beryl is going to be our provoker. All he's going to do is provoke those laser beams each turn. He's also going to be doing breaks for the boss, like the um, his limit burst. He can do defense breaks, spirit breaks, etc. And he's got the most resistance because he'll be taking the single target beams, which is uh, the majority of the damage. Zargabath is going to be our buffer. He provides stop immunity for the team. He also does resist buffs and mitigations, so he's pretty good. Uh, his mitigation is not as good as some other units, unless you can keep his limit burst active at all times, which I'm going to try to do, but, you know, we'll see if it works. Now, Faze is going to be our DPS. Now, because we're skipping the unit of choice mission, you want an AoE chainer. Now, Mal Mal Faze is great doing it this way. So she's got, um, you know, the resistance needed, some defense, or some resistance, uh, spirit, attack, magic, etc. Uh, her resistance is a little bit lowish, but because we're doing it the easy way, it's not going to be too big of a deal. Uh, one important thing you'll notice is no one on the team is using lightning weapons. Because we're not going to use lightning lightning damage at all, except for once for the mission. And we're bringing Tommy's Malfazi, who is geared pretty similar to mine, almost exactly the same. Well, a little different. Uh, but anyway, he's got better resistance, so he's, you know, doing good. And for the mission, we're bringing a Blue Fang, which is the top left item. That deals thunder damage, so that's going to give us that thunder mission. Rem could cast the spells, but uh, actually, no, you can't do it with magic, because the boss always reflects. So you got to use either abilities or an item. Alright, anyway, so we're going to get into it. Here's the ambush. No one should die. Our resistances are still pretty good. That is one thing you just can't get around. You do need good resistance for your team. So there's green out. Uh, everyone lives. Okay, pretty good. Okay. So, uh, did we get any status effects? Let's see. Status ailments. No one, status, no one got status. Okay, good. Uh, so we're going to be, for this turn one, we're going to Arcadia's Might. Mercenary Roms is going to physical cover. Rem's going to go ahead and heal the team. Let's see. We'll heal. That's the wrong, the wrong heal. She has too many spells. <laughs> Alright, we're going to Cure Rage, which is our higher level skill. And we'll do a bar water from Siren just to... Actually, no, we're going to dispel the boss. Yeah, we're going to dispel the boss and cure Asia. To get rid of that attack buff the boss will on himself. Okay, there we go. Beryl is going to provoke the single target lasers with Alone in the Dark. That is his provoke, right? I almost never provoke with Beryl. Yeah, Alone in the Dark. Alright, and the Malphases are going to... We're going to Fiendish Winds twice. We want to kill off those small birds. And actually, there's no point in dual casting it because they're dual wielding. So we'll just... There we go. Uh, so we're going to AoE Chain, and we're going to kill off all these small birds. Which is going to reduce the damage incoming quite a bit. Oh, it didn't even kill him. Look at that. That's unfortunate. Oh well. It should be fine. Now it's painful because we didn't do a resist buff yet, but as I've shown, um... Uh oh, we lost Malfazy. Yeah, we don't have resist buffs yet. Oh well. Alright, so we'll get her back up. 
and this should be a little stable in a moment. We're getting there. Alright, so Zarg is now going to Prismatic Barrier. That'll help the resistances quite a bit. Uh, we should be able to kill these without chaining, hopefully. We're going to find out. Hmm, maybe not, actually. Oh, we got one. But not the other one. That's alright. Uh, so we're going to Bar Aroga for even more Wind Resist. And Feral is going to... Let's see. There it is. We're going to break the boss, although I just used... Uh... Attack break, which doesn't work, but whatever. Okay. We should be taking less damage this time because there's no, uh. There's less birds on the field. But now they're coming back. <laughs> Alright. Go ahead and use Zarg's limit first, which put better mitigation up. Now we're gonna do Intense Rancor and Fiendish Winds again. Let's see. Intense Rancor and Fiendish Winds. Now I didn't imbue imbue yet because we're still trying to deal with these small birds that keep spawning, because we're not uh, we're still we're still kind of recovering from that ambush. So this actually won't deal damage to Glacial. But it will deal damage to the little ones. So this should kill off the little ones completely. Oh, maybe not. Oh well. Uh, let's see here. So we're going to entrust over to Zar. We can limit again soonish. Let's see. Rem is going to just refresh Bar Water and heal. Barrel will spend his turn doing Blue Fang on the boss, which does the lightning damage needed, so that mission is complete. Alright, so the boss's mitigation is now gone. We can finally start dealing some alright damage. Let's see, Barrel's gonna provoke. Zarg will limit again. Now Malthazes are going to imbue themselves. Uh, which is Tenebris Dive, and then Fiendish Winds. Let's see here, Tenebris Dive and Fiendish Winds. And now that Malthazes are imbued, the damage should be going up quite a bit. There we go. Now we're back on track. So we're going to Vanguard Protector and Rem. Uh, no one really needs healing, so Rem will just MP conversion for the mana regen. Oh, I guess I guess uh, Barrel did need healing. Oh well. We'll deal with him in a moment. Alright, so let's go ahead and use Malphazy's Limit, which is going to unlock their good chaining abilities. You know, I was hoping to not push that threshold that turn. Got one to. to ah, well, whatever. It's alright. Alright, so in that case, we need stop immunity now. So for stop immunity, we're going to be using Arcadia's Light. Which gives us resistance to stop. Barrel will just refresh provoke for an actually barrel will summon an Esper to get that mission out the way. Ramza will just refresh his cover for the moment. And Rem will heal. Let's see, Curagia and I guess there's nothing to dual cast. <laughs> Whatever. Okay. Three more turns of mitigation. Let's 
So now that the little ones are back out, we're going to be using um, Soaring Shadows to kill them. And that should kill them pretty easily. Let's go ahead and Alexander's Crest first. Rem will heal and dispel the boss. Let's see, Malphazy is going to... Where is it? Soaring Shadows. And Soaring Shadows. Now this should definitely kill the small one, because this is a much more powerful chain. Oh yeah, as you say. Now that skill is only only unlocked after her limit burst. Uh, Ramza, I guess, will Vanguard Protector. Oh, I should have. I should have been trusted. It don't matter. Let's go ahead and Prismatic Barrier. We'll do Soaring Shadows again. We'll, we'll final Dwink with Barrel for the break. Even though the boss has a mitigation up, this should still deal pretty good damage. Let's have Ramza and Trust over to Zarg. And Malphazes. Uh, actually, isn't Soaring Shadows Bolting Strike? It is. So we're gonna we're gonna imperil first. Let's Tenebra Strive and then Soaring Shadows. Well this one will just Soaring Shadows twice. Okay. Pretty good, pretty good. Uh, and we'll just courage it with Rem. There's the stop. Alright, I think Soaring Shadows has worn off. It has. So we're just going to uh, Fiendish Winds twice. Let's see, what else are we going to do here? I think I'm going to go ahead and Alexander's Crest again. Let's see, Ramza will spend this turn refreshing cover. I guess we'll refresh Provoke with Feral. And Rem will water resist and heal. Now, we, you'll notice we're not using much resistance buffs. Just because this team doesn't can't really fit it too easily. But, should be alright. <laughs> we keep leaving these birds like 2%. But we did push the last threshold, so that's cool. So these birds won't be spawning anymore, which is very nice. There's the frozen hurricane. Okay. We actually killed these with uh, counters or something. So let's go ahead and summon that last Esper for that mission so I don't forget about it. Let's have Zarg refresh stop immunity. Rem will dispel the boss. And heal. Barrel will re-break the boss. And Malphazes will re-imbue themselves. And Tenebra swims. Let's see. Or Tenebra Stive and Fiendish Wind. Did I do that right on the first one? Tenebra Stive and Fiendish Winds. The boss does have mitigation right now, so. A little bit less damage. Not much less. Now you'll notice we're not getting Diffusion Laser. That's because we're not using Thunder Damage. If you don't use Thunder Damage, you never get Confusion Laser. Which reduces the incoming damage quite a bit. 
Now you can't really do that if you're going for the unit of choice mission because you need to use thunder to seal the big birds. But because we're not doing that mission, it's no problem. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and chain again. Really? Zarg didn't get any crystals? That's annoying. I guess Warcade is my thing for the mitigation instead. Uh, we actually kind of need resist buff too. But we'll be alright. <laughs> I hope. Let's, I guess, do a bar Aroga with Ramza. And we'll do a bar Waterer with Rem. Now, these are from Espers. Ramza's on Tetra and Rem's on Siren. And Barrel will refresh that provoke. Unfortunately, we don't, have, we don't have any ice resist buff right now at all, which is why Barrel is going to hit so hard. And he might die even. No, he didn't. Yeah, I, I, I didn't have a chance to refresh my ice resist, which really sucked. But we made it. So let's go ahead and do Prismatic Barrier now that I can get some resistance buffs going. Have the Malphazes unlock their good chain. I mean, hopefully this actually doesn't push him below 30, because I don't want to deal with that mitigation. Alright, good, good. Barrel will provoke again. I guess Ramza will cover again. And Rem will just heal. Uh, I guess Rem will refresh water resist and heal. Okay. Then the boss's mitigation is going to wear off, so that's good. We can finally get a big, a big damage burst coming in. Oh, the snowstorm is intensifying. I hate that. All right, so we had to spell that. So let's dispel and heal. Ramza will entrust over to Barrel, because I want to get his limit for this good break. We're gonna push we're gonna push this boss kind of hard here. Alright, now Phazy is going to re-imperil with Nebris. And unfortunately I can't use Intense Ranker because I gotta re-imperil. So we're gonna do Tenebris and then Soaring Shadows. While Thomas will double Soaring Shadows. Now this should deal quite a bit of damage, and Zarg will actually pop his Lemma Burst. I'm not sure when the last time I cast Stop Resist, so if we get stopped, you know, my bad. As you can see, Malphazy is pretty good damage when uh, she's all unlocked. Alright, so it looks like no one's getting stopped, so I think we're okay here. Maybe. Yeah, we're good. Alright, so the boss has mitigation again, but we're probably going to be able to kill him through mitigation, because we're currently powered up. So let's just Soaring Shadows twice with both of them. Uh, the boss is still broken, still imperiled, does not have a defense buff. So yeah, this should this should kill the boss right here, or get a get him really close if not. Yeah, we got him. There we go. So there it is. Thirteen turns. We skipped the unit of choice mission. We used pretty minimal resist buffs. Uh, Zargabath was really stressed that fight. He was trying to do too many duties. That was kind of a poor choice. I mean, he he did good and all, but Zargabath doing his limit burst every other turn means he couldn't really keep up uh, resistance buffs and stop resist buffs at the same time. It, it worked out, but that that could have been that could have could that could have gone really wrong if I if I messed up my timing. Uh, Ramza was good for the entrust that helps. Barrel was a good provoker that was good. Rim, Rim was not a good choice. Um, you know she didn't really bring anything whatsoever to the team other than Curagia, which is something every healer has. So you know Myra, Fina, 
Volko, those would have all been much better choices. But I, so I just wanted to show different units that I've already used in previous videos. Uh, kind of doing the Scorn of the Fallen Iceberg Chamber of Vengeance style, using all unique units each time. <laughs> uh, but anyway, there is a third way to do it. It skips the unit of choice, but that also prevents all the big birds from spawning. That prevents the diffusion laser if you're not using thunder damage. And it makes it a little bit easier to survive. Alright, see you guys next time.